Oof. God, it stinks, <laughs> no? What's that smell of lemon? I'm not sure. God, that smell of lemon. I mean, why on earth would you need air freshener in here with such beautiful air? Woof. Yes. The smell is. in here is crazy, no? Let me just quickly open the window. Oh, I guess the back of your throat, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, is someone going to make up the beds? They are made. I've seen dog baskets uh, better. How old are they? They put in about five years ago. Bloody hell, seriously. Yeah, oh, they're shit. definitely old. Is that blood? I don't think so. What is that? I'm not sure. It's a stain anyway. Wow. OK, so um, I'll be down in a couple of minutes for a bite to eat. Sounds great. Yeah, what do you recommend? She does the rainbow trout here. What's her name? Her name is Gina. OK, great. Thanks for the update. Pleasure to meet you. Um, thanks, Zach. Wow. The view is breathtaking, but the colour is depressing. I mean, honestly, everything's dark and grey and dingy. And the pillars, look at those. How uninviting. Like the dog sat on it for the last 10 years. Really do smell. What is that? It's like a piece of candy stuck on a pillow. That's terrible. It's almost like they've fallen out of love for this place. And look at that. Ugh, big dirty stain. The melody of love. Yes. Oh, do you hear people shagging in the next door? <laughs> no? You must hear something. <laughs> wow. Holy mackerel. Is that mold in there? I I what wouldn't be surprised if it were mold. Uh, where's the uh, wardrobe so I can hang my jacket? The wardrobe, um, right you know, over right there. there. Oh, right. That's, yeah, okay. kind of hidden behind the have. microwave and moldy wow. refrigerator. Jesus. I'm feeling really nervous right now. I know that the room is really cluttered, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, at least we have a light bulb. There's a man that goes around nicking light bulbs out of the lamps. Mandy said that he doesn't want them turned on. Some guy called Jim. Jim? Your father Good. takes light bulbs out of the lamp? He's your father? Yeah. Mum works in the business as well? Our mom, mom kind of She's goes around and um, helps clean up after people's mess. Are they owners as well? They're I mean, investors. They're investors. They're investors. So your parents bought you this place? Yes. The moment we saw this place, I knew I had to have it. So I found every single way possible to convince my daddy. No matter what I had to do, I just had to have it. I personally think they could have gotten it for cheaper. And they probably should have. <laughs> OK. I can't believe you're going to be in room 16. Why? Because room 16 has a ghost in it. This woman told me who went to room 16. She said the ghost was pulling the blankets off her all night long. And you haven't been drinking sherry? No. Wow. Betty is a ghost at the Curtis house, and people do tell us that. She raises a little bit of havoc with them. She's definitely there. Room 16. A haunted room. My goodness me. <laughs> what is that on there? Is that a footprint? Come on, no way. So what's all that big scuff yes, mark on it? Yes, it looks like a footprint to me. And what's that in there? Dead bugs? Oh, dear. Oh, jeez, look at this one here. I give them a list huh? of the rooms that are coming in. They're supposed to thoroughly check the room. And what's, do, we, do, we, do we have electricity in the house? I couldn't believe what Gordon found in that room. And what is this? <laughs> Nobody just realized or care. Wow, beautiful room. And, uh... uh... I mean, this is, uh... This is a beautiful room, but... What is that smell? I mean, seriously. It... It does smell. Yeah, but it smells like shit. I mean, that is horrific. Oh, my God. It smells like sewage. We had a plumbing issue and it's like someone's it's, shot under the bed and um how much? This room goes for three hundred and fifty dollars a night. Three hundred and fifty dollars a night for a room that smells of shit. Well You're kidding me. We haven't rented it though. Bloody hell. It's been out of use for um four months. Four months? Yeah. Oh come on. It has been. This is crazy. It is crazy. It doesn't make sense. I've got to get out of here. It stinks. Is there another room? Yes, please? I have room too. Bloody yeah. hell. I didn't realize. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. Yes. It's so empty. More like a garage than a guest room. And how much is this a night? Seven fifty nine. Seven hundred and fifty nine dollars. Wow. That's incredibly expensive. And what's that thing there? That is actually the jacuzzi tub. In the middle of the lounge. It is in the middle of the lounge. Wow. When they designed the rooms, they took away all the interior walls. But without sounding stupid, these are car designers. Correct. They and are car designers. Now they're putting jacuzzis in the middle of suites. Last time I checked, a living room was for sitting in, not taking a bath. <laughs> Jeez. 
How much do these things cost? The jacuzzi tub itself yeah. is about $20,000. You don't take bath in cars. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is crazy. But who wanted all these specially designed That is the owner. Areas? That's Eddie. That's Eddie. Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, shit. The sports car inspired furniture looks cheap and isn't even functional. It's different than anything else. Yeah. Um, different from a nice hotel room. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, who on earth would want to sit here and sort of watch the television? And watch the television. <laughs> it works though. The sheets. How can they also wrinkle when having slept in there? Why is that? We do them in house. When you say we, what do you mean? You don't do laundry. Lifestyle means everything. Your mouthwash. <laughs> It's like gas. Socket's all broken and smashed down there. Someone's left their dirty ones there. The plastic plants. That's outrageous, $800. Oh my gosh. Gordon doesn't like anything about the hotel. Damn it. Anything else? If I have any lifestyle needs, I'll call. Thank you. Fucking hell. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Wow, not even wrapped. Where are the burgers? I mean, it just doesn't look anything like a burger. And when it's processed like that and stamped and pressed, you can just tell. Right. Frozen food. Wow. Brett, come with me. Yeah. How's the fettuccine? It's OK. Not the best. Damn, I'm sorry. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. A burger cooked here locally, would you expect that to be frozen or fresh? Fresh. The burger is not frozen. It's the, the patties and everything come in frozen and they're thawed out. Is that? Like most oh, people do. You thawed it out. So it's not the frozen, beef. then? It comes in frozen. Yeah. You thaw it out, and that, to the, your customers, is not a frozen burger? Well... Um, stay there, let me just show you, you something. You... I'm waiting for him to come back. He's gonna ream me on something. Oh, boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's your burgers. It's a frozen. Thank you. Now your husband said it wasn't. No, what do you mean? No, it's, it's, it's frozen. Of course, I, I never said that it wasn't. It, we thaw it out here. Yeah. It comes in frozen. Yeah. It's still a frozen burger. There's no such thing as a fresh burger, at least, at least here in Eastern Washington. Have you seen any of this stuff going on here? Do you have any idea what's going on? What's this? Pre-cooked bacon. Pre-cooked from when? It's dated. They, they do but it every day, just about. Right? No, they don't. When was that cooked? That's not today. If they did, honestly, let's see what it says, 1031. We're in November the 6th now. This is insane. Look at that in there. Don't you drain that, or it just sits there in its blood? And in here? That's a freezer. What is that? What's that noise? That's the fan. What a nightmare. <sighs> hey, Karen, you've got no idea that this is going on like this? What is that in there? That's dishwater. No, that's french fries in there. Fries? Why is the water so dirty? Nobody didn't change it. Sorry? Nobody didn't change it, sir. But you're cooking fries from there tonight in that water. I saw them fill up the fryer twice. It sucks. Where'd you get the ham from? She bought it at the store. Holy crap. It's a spiral cut. They cut it and put it in here. And then uh, use it for side of ham for breakfast. When was the last time this was clean? Uh, last year when I cleaned this, chef. Last year, when we cleaned the oven, we're in November. Last year. Yes, sir. I asked Karen, I said, Karen, we need to shut down. So we, 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 gotta, we gotta do maintenance. Look at the mess. Why have you let it go like this? I didn't know that they were doing things that were not Karen, that proper. You... No, but let, listen to me, Jeff. This is the bullshit the guy, OK? Let's tell him the truth here, OK? I asked for some new equipment. I can't get no new equipment. Why not? I've been here for four years. I've been asking for new equipment. I can't work with this shit here. Look. Look at that. I'm fucking pissed. What is this? Wow. Oh, man. 
look at that. The water's gone slimy. And you come in here once a week. Yeah. What is that? Oh, boy. Fucking hell. What is that? Pina colada. Pina colada. Why it's like that, I have no idea. It's festered. It's, it's, it's off. It's bubbling. Oh, man. That's terrible. Fuck. Trash, please. <coughs> trash. <coughs> James, trash, please, now. Pina colada. Right down the drain. By the bucket load in the walk-in fridge. I mean, who in the hell operates like this? Gordon, this is Chef Ben's job. He's the executive chef. He's the executive chef. And you made him that executive chef, right? Sure I did. How do you feel now? What's that? Tuna burger. That's from the burger? Yes, it is. Oh, my god. Seriously? Bacon. It's gone. It's, it's, it's off. Fresh produce on top of old produce. Moldy. And this one? Ribeye. Ribeye defrosting. Yeah. What is this? Those are the smoke grilled chicken wings before they go onto the char grill. Oh, my god. And what is in this one? You are kidding me. So underneath in that bucket is what? Cooked product. Cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. And on top of it is what? It's raw. Raw chicken on top of cooked chicken. I had them for lunch. I am at a fucking loss. Do you know the best way out of this? Is just to shut the place down. What a mess. Wheels are stuck. It's just sliding on the fucking grease. Oh, God. That is gross. Miranda, you got two seconds? Sure. Just stand behind there, will you? Oh, my goodness. Just no, please stand behind there. I'm... I'm... What is this? Maceo, you guys just cleaned this. Is this from today? I don't even know what's back there, Verinda. What? When was that cleaned? It's, they just cleaned it two days ago. They got spilled everything there. Come here. I know, hand on heart, that is not from yesterday. That is not from yesterday. What's that up there? Seriously? Watch your eyes, watch your eyes. Who cleans this shit? Who is it? Since I've been here, no one's cleaned it. Since you've been here, no one's cleaned it. I appreciate your honesty. Miranda. Yeah. Since, no. since he's been here, he's never cleaned it. This place is disgusting. And this? Well, I, Gordon, I don't come and do this. You don't want I trust them that they would clean where they are. You, you guys cleaned the floor the other day, didn't you? We cleaned the line the other day. We sweeped the line. You said you guys took out... No, no, I never said no, that. No. I never stop, said stop, that. stop, stop. I never You're said just that. trying to make excuses. Yes, you are. Aren't you embarrassed? Very. At least you talk the fucking truth. The owner's in denial. That has been pulled out for fucking months. Yeah. Sit down. You must be shattered. I'm tired. I bet you are. Stick a fork in me. That was mad. Was it mad? Yeah. You're in the kitchen, busting your ass off, working hard to serve all those people. And John, you were out prancing around like a sort of actor. So this is the thespian thing. It's, it's an inn, it's not a theater. But you seem to enjoy it. You have to force yourself to like doing it. I mean, it's on stage for three hours. And... The problems at the Roosevelt are elementary. Can I just have a word with you on your own? Two Certainly. Seconds. Oh, sure. This place is sinking because John refuses to take anything seriously. You love being an entertainer. Don't you dare tell me that I that is hard. It. This whole fucking thing was put together for your fantasy. Well, that's kind of what this night is. It is entertainment. We put on a show. You're pretending to be Sherlock Holmes, and upstairs, we're empty. You're in the shit financially. We're in ruins. And if you put the same amount of effort into filling this place, just one room booked tonight would have made more profit than the whole murder mystery and all that work that went into it. I mean, this is insane. And you prance around like some fucking idiot. 
while your wife is slaving away in the kitchen. Do you have any care in the world apart for yourself? When you get a psychology degree. Oh, you when come, I get You one. come and tell okay. me what's wrong with me. Here we go. You obviously think you are a psychologist. Big denial again. No, I'm not in denial. I just don't know what you want. It's only your own fucking stupidity to why we're in the shit this far. Well, that is probably true. So then man up and act responsible. OK, I'm done with that. Oh. I'm done with that interview. Oh. Here, Sherlock. Over. No, no. Is that, does that massage no, your ego done. a bit more? Yeah, no, just talk to my hand, you know. I talk to my man. hand. Oh, what yeah. a have fucking a idiot. Have a You're good not night. 10 years old. You need to grow up and stop running away from the truth. This is Stark Return, boy of the month. Oh, he looks a happy bunny. Oh, hello. How are you? Party of one? Party of one. Okay. Uh, not a party for one. Uh, <laughs> good to see you. I'm Brian. Is that the same? Congratulations, employee of the month. Um, Thank you. Do you get a bonus? Do you get a night nice stay? Do no, you get a free um, dinner? I, I'm one of the only employees that never made the cut yet. Oh, I see. You just put yourself in, and what are the owners going to say about that? I'm one of them. I'm Brian. Stop yes. it. Yes. Come on. Hey, the other owners out there shot on their... You're the owner and you made yourself the employee of the month. Yeah. Are you the man with the G-string? The G-string? Reception's telling me you do, you do lap dancing. Oh, no, that would probably be Kevin. Oh, I see. I don't know. My booty's a little too big to do the right. lap dancing. Right, OK. Then. I was going to say, I can't wait to see that one. Um, I'd love to meet the other two, the chef and the lap dancer. Are they around? Are they... You want me to bring them out? Yeah. All right, Kevin and Joel and I, we're all equal shareholders in this business. But it was my plan to buy the hotel. Hello. Kevin. Kevin, Gordon, good to see you, buddy. Pleasure to meet you. And this is? Hi, Gordon Joel. Joel, so you're the lap dancer. There might have been some lap dancers. Oh, OK, they're right. Okay, I'm, just, yeah. just, I'm dying to find I mean, out. I'm not, a, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Maybe once in a while, but okay, fine. fine. I'm a wild one when I start drinking. I get a little stripper action going on, or they get a little rowdy, and can be the most fun that any young adult could ever dream of. So obviously the chef. Yes. Restaurant manager. And the lap dancer. Bar manager. Bar manager. So who's in charge? All three of us. No such thing. Mm. So who runs the hotel? Who's in charge of the, the hotel? Hotel manager job doesn't really entail much. With three owners, normally there's one that takes the reins and two other silent. Uh, none of you sound and look like an owner. Well, Gordon thinks we don't look like owners. But what, what's an owner look like? We bought the hotel nine months ago. Right, and you guys go back a long way? Just kind of met each other 15 years ago. And I'm confused whether it's the Three Musketeers or the Three Stooges. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick bite to eat. It's been a, a long journey. Well, I'm excited to taste the food. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank Gordon's going to love our food. Joel works really hard at everything he puts out. Everything that comes out the window is a great product. I can't believe this hotel is owned by three guys. Uh, with a pink dining room. Pink's the new black. Well, it's like a girl's bedroom. Ghastly, ghastly. Um, any specials on today? We had a fresh Alaskan halibut mm -hmm. with a... <laughs> now that I'm talking to you, I've, I've completely forgot. No, we had, we had the halibut with a... Well, this is the first time I forget specials. Don't worry, why don't you check with the chef? All right, I will. You are the restaurant manager, right? Yes, and I was a server, too. Restaurant manager, employee of the month, and owner. Yes, all of the above. Employee of the month, I'm going to take that plaque back. Can't even remember the specials. It smells like there's crap all over the floor. Probably because there's crap on the floor. Probably. Could be. What does that mean, could be? My first shift here, you were in the bathroom, and I think you had an accident on the floor, on the mat. What? Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. There have been times when I have had diarrhea, but it doesn't happen very often. But, um, no, I, I didn't realize that there was that problem. Fucking hell. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, love the attire, by the way. Thank you. Everyone wears this. Wow. How much are the outfits? About $300, $400. Three hundred dollars. Average, you know. They get their own. I mean, they're their own dresses, you know. Oh, you buy your own uniforms? Yes, yes. they do. Stop it. We do. Well, they have them for many years, and it reminds yeah, them well, to not gain weight. <laughs> wow. So, who designed the place? Well, uh, my husband and I. And whose idea was it to buy it? Uh, my husband. So it wasn't yours. It was not my idea. Actually, very much against it. Wow. Uh, uh, why were you against it? It was very overwhelming. I had two small children, but 
Probably uh, after I lost my mind the first year, I think we started to get a hang of it. And who's Austrian? Are you from? My husband's half Austrian oh, and Polish. Right. I, I'm not nearly as exotic. I'm very no. American. Right. And he's the chef, right? So he runs the restaurant kitchen and you run the inn? Correct. And whose idea was the uh, violins on the table? Mine. Where did that come from? That was actually from an estate sale down the street. A dead man's violin? No, yeah. Not really, no. Why not? I don't want to sit across the table with my wife and look at a dead man's violin. Well... A bit freaky, no? I don't know. What would you rather look at when you see the Vienna? Her. Who's her? Uh, my wife. Oh, your wife, yes. Yeah. But you have to have something in, to make up that white space. What would you suggest? Uh, my wife. <laughs> You're going to put her on the table? That's kind of scandalous. I'm so fucking confused. Dead man's violin. What about some flowers? Ugh. 